Ricky Herbert's made eight changes to the team that played Papua New Guinea. The suspended Tony Lockhead is replaced by Ian Hogg, while there are starts from Myers, Boxall, Bertos, Clapham, Payne, Rojas and Fallon. Herbert celebrated his 50th match in charge of the All-Whites with a victory, and now he rotates his squad with a semi-final looming just 48 hours from now. Well, these two teams have met five times previously. New Zealand have won all five. Oh, and it's at the post. It's Khalifa who just about puts uh, his team one goal down. So an early sighter for New Zealand. And they've got a corner. So the corner to be taken by Bertos. That's a good one. And Fallon's up. Oh, it's off the line. Freddie Kinney doing the defending there for the Solomons. Oh, and so close. Fallon with the acrobatic effort. The Aberdeen striker clearly in the mood today. Well, here's the threat presented by Wood and Fallon as Bertos swings this in. Now Smith, he's up. Freddie Kinney's got it for the Solomons. That's a good ball by Freddie Kinney for Tatori. Now we can face up Ian Hogg, and what a ball. That is Joseph Nawo. Now has a chance. He has a shot straight into the arms of Gleason. Benjamin Tatori looking on song for the Solomons. Clapham. Smith. That's a bullet train in case you didn't know they're Gordon. <laughs> That's a nice ball for Bertos. Clips one in. That's a good ball. Wood is on side and a chance. Oh, it's in the back of the net. New Zealand have opened the scoring on 14 minutes. It's Chris Wood. Now that's a lovely little ball in there. Wood controlled it well. There was a suspicion, I thought, of offside, but he, he picked up that gap and took it magnificently. Now Jack Whitney, first touch, lets him down. Tommy Smith will collect this. Here's Gleeson. Oh, and Whitney's caught him. Trouble for Jake Gleeson. Oh, and a chance is... Uh, oh, it's away by Michael Boxall, I think, was a covering player. So alarm bells for New Zealand. Inhabitants from Malaita and Guadalcanal have united under the banner of the Solomon Islands and have really embraced this football tournament as Fallon plays Bertos in acrobatically. Payne's made a run into the penalty area. Tim Payne, oh, not too far away, Tim Payne. Didn't get a clean connection, but plenty for the Solomons to think about, Miles. So Joseph Nawo and Henry Faroda are standing over the ball. For the Solomon Island. Benito, and it looks as though it's going to be Ferodo. Plays it short to Nawo. There's a the shot. Oh, and it's it's palmed away by Jake Gleason. Interesting free kick from the Solomon Islands. Um, but with no call to Arsenal given, and if people go down, they're absolutely hurt. Well, that's a free kick now. Nobi Hawata was in a good spot to I think he wants to get his card get a good out. look at that. I think he's going to get his card out for this one. Uh, well, it's Tommy, Tommy Smith. Yellow. It's his first yellow card of the UFC Nations Cup. Myers, that's uh, not a bad ball for Marco Rojas. Good ball in from Rojas. Felix Ray's missed it. It's at the post. Offside. It wouldn't have counted anyway. And they're all putting us to shame, Gordon. Well, it's not one-eyed win, but <laughs> here we are with uh, Boulay. Now Ferodo, Joseph Nawo making a run on the right. Tatori can run into space. Now Ferodo has been sent clear. What can he produce in terms of a cross? He checks back onto his right foot. Sets up Tatori. Oh, and it's... Oh, I think that's... Uh, I think it's a side netting, isn't it's it? It's a side netting. Now we'll have to wait and see. I think that's a side netting, I'm pretty sure. It is a side netting. And it was a just, the, the pass was just too far away. So referee Norbe Hata of Papiti Tahiti blows for half time here at Lawson Thomas Stadium. Oh, Tatori, that's a nice piece of work by Benjamin Tatori and still going. Can he beat Boxall? Well, he can. Tatori, oh, it's right across oh. the face of goal. Tatori magic, it just needed the finish. No takers for the Solomon Islands and a warning sign for New Zealand. Remonstrates with Norbe Hoata. It's not going to change the decision uh, in a hurry. 
Solomons have taken it quickly. Here's Ferodo. Still Henry Ferodo. Oh, beautifully no, done. Oh, oh, and a chance perhaps. Oh, and it's Michael Boxel who intervenes. Gleason's hurt. Alec Wickham to a Sulia's first touch. Not a good one. New Zealand have it. Chris Wood. Nate's read that. Plays it wide to Aingari. To Tori to his left. Nawo drifting into the D, now near the penalty spot. Oh, and Tatori. Oh, he scores! Benjamin Tatori in the 57th minute has leveled the score, and Lawson Tama Stadium has erupted. Sheer class from Tatori the Tormentor. And Lawson Tama, his smiles all around. You'll go a long way before you see a better goal than that. Bertos and Rojas are withdrawn. Barbarousas and Brocky are introduced. And he's back here playing domestic football. Surely somebody watching this will fancy Benjamin Tatori at a professional club as Clapham plays this in. Fallon's head it goes to the far post and oh, Felix Ray struggles to get rid of it. It's going to be a corner for New Zealand. And that seems to be the best chance. They really, those two front boys, um, big timber, but I don't think it's over yet. Clapham's corner, it's a good one. Chris Wood over the bar. Well, New Zealand have a considerable height advantage at these attacking corners. Lofted in by Clapham. Rory Fallon is coming off, and Adam McGeorge wins his second cap. And they're facing an opponent who is uh, believing that they can go on and win this game, and probably with every justification. So it'll be a good result for New Zealand if they can not just hold on, but maybe even sneak one and back and go on to win it. Nate spots Joseph Nawo's run. Oh, and he's around Tommy Smith. A chance for Nawo. Good save by Gleeson. Important save by the New Zealand keeper. Looking for an option. He's taking his time about the throw. Clapham. Now McGeorge. Long ball pumped toward Chris Wood. He cushions ahead of down for Barbarousas. Chance for Adam McGeorge. Good strike and a good save. Strong hands by Felix Ray Jr. And Jer Jeremy Brocky taking up a good position on the far post as well. Well, you always have to be careful with these uh, things. As uh, Clapham, oh, and it's off the line. It was uh, the defender on the goalpost there, Josh uh, Tuasulia, who headed Aaron Clapham's corner off the line. And, uh, Tuasulia with the header, Nate. A lovely ball. Now Tatori has got Myers all to himself. Boxel's pr providing some cover. Tatori's still going, the shot. Oh, and it's so close. I was just wondering if that went in, would the roof go off the stand? I hope not, because we're at the top of it. I know, oh, that was my second thought. And Aaron Clapham shouting, exhorting the troops. I think Ricky Herbert will be very, very pleased the way that his charges, especially the, the amount of the young players that they've got out there. That is full time here at Lawson Thomas Stadium. Referee Norbe Huata draws the match to a close. And it's been an absorbing match to bring to you in the IFC Nations Cup 2012. It's finished. New Zealand won. The Solomon Islands won.